to me doing the reaction thing to One Piece. Today I'll be doing episode 118, 119, 120. So in the last episode, man, we saw Mr. Crocodile, uh, Jesus crucified, uh, Vivi's dad, the king. It's a shame too, because this show is pretty damn violent, but I don't know why, out of all moments, of all the violence that we see, we didn't actually see the crucifixion, uh, crucifixion, don't judge me for missing that word. Anyway, um, we didn't see him get impaled, and not that I want to see it, but it's just... It's so weird because we see other violent things in the show. We see guns. We see people getting shot, stabbed, and killed. Heck, in, I think even in the same episode, Nami got stabbed through her ankle and she got stabbed through her chest and whatnot. So it's like, you know, how far do you want to go? But then you still want to go far. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand the, um, the censorship there. Yeah. But yeah, aside from that, I'm excited. Uh, the show is moving on. Um, I'm ready for these big fights with, you know, the final bosses per se. I know Soro is fighting Mr. Number One or something or whatever. I know he's doing his own fight. You know, Sanji stopped the weird um, um, ducky swan dude guy. Uh, Nami uh, fought some girl. Um... You know, Usopp fought some dog, and he fought a whole bunch of peoples, you know? So, of course, the big fight would then be Luffy and Mr. Crocodile. So, who knows? I don't know how this show is going to avert my expectation. It always does. That's what I love this show. And, yeah, let's see how it plays out. Let's do the reaction. Oh, my God, I even forgot to mention the Pluton. What the hell is a Pluton? So yeah, secret weapon Pluton. Yeah, I'm gonna put asterisk. Wow, it rivals a god, huh? Jesus, and all these people are still fighting each other. Can you imagine how many people died? Oh, Misonde. Wait, what does that say about you? Wow. Yeah, about time. But he's Mr. Sandy, though. I wonder if you slice him with a water sword, would that hurt him? See how it's it's so pointless, and then did she get stabbed in the ankle? Like, how is she running? Like she's okay. She using her boobs? What? Spiky ass, pointy ass boobs. What is she doing? The fact that Nami just created rain in a place that hasn't had water in a long time. Wow. Is she gonna create rain? She just got buff. <laughs> hey, <like, laughs> <laughs> Sure. 
Oh, there, there's the rain. Oh, is she trying to create like thunder or something? That's that's exactly what I thought she was about to do. <laughs> Wait, it didn't stop her. I was about to say. Oh my god! He got stabbed through the foot! Oh, good lord. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, now we're following Soro in his fight. He has like the thinnest unibrow I've ever seen. Oh jeez. Uh, his body can withstand no uh, sword attacks. Alright, so how is Soro going to cut through this dude I don't know not an idea whoa did he get him this time <laughs> look at that face wait you didn't even cut his clothes his clothes are made out of steel too like yo come on Flashback time? Why? I don't understand, but it's okay. Did you just pick up the house? Oh, that's where he has his blades. He has his blades inside his body. I didn't even notice that until now. What? How, uh, how can you make your blades move like that? What did that just cut off your arm?
Dude, can you imagine getting punched by that? Dude, you're dead. But no, they're heroes. They survive everything. Oh, that's gross. Whoa, he just... He literally gave him a fatality. Damn, dude. It's impossible. You think it's impossible, bro? Dude. Main character syndrome. What, is he one with the world now? I like how he can't hear what he's saying. Wow. What? Holy crap. Yeah, my dude just went full on Samurai X. So they're gonna rush into the arms. They're not scared. Oh. Why did, why did she pull her arm out? Oh, she actually got caught. So they drank some special elixir to make them stronger, but they'll die. Oh. Yo, I find this guy so annoying. He laughs at everything. Crocodile, you're not funny. You didn't say anything funny. What? Why is he laughing? Oh, they're they're turning into animals. What the hell is going on? I wonder if yeah, the guys are totally gonna find Soro and Nami. Oh, it's like she saw a ghost. Oh. Oh, that guy. You were playing like a fiddle. <laughs> All right, they can ask him to tell the other peoples. Dead or did he miss on purpose? The fuck are you doing? What? No! He's trying to! But look, he's trying to convince the peepers. Right. 
Where did they get all the white flags? Literally, Vivi is over there by the stairs. She can literally say, Hey! Hey! It's a trap! made it so far he made it all the way there to find out exactly what was actually happening that he was being played and boom he gets a six piece in the gut wow 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 i didn't see that coming because honestly my impressions of today's episodes uh again very disappointed because it's like yo let me enjoy the fights let me enjoy whatever story you want to tell but it's constantly interrupted with flashbacks or like uh scenes that were previously in another episode and it's like what what is this it's like this is not a show this is not an episode it's like there's nothing there there's no meat in the episodes when i want to see Soro fight the little steel guy but he starts thinking about a flashback and then Here's Vivi and, and then the Koru guy, whatever, and he's he's thinking about flashbacks, and it's like, what? Huh? And they don't feel natural in the moment. I just feel like they're just used to elongate the episode. Another thing that I was also thinking during these episodes is, how do you ever uh, uh, like avert expectations when you know the main characters will never die, right? So it's like. Zoro's not gonna die, not on episode 118 or 19, whatever, right? It's like, like, how do you make me believe uh, his rise or his defeat or whatever? It's like, you go so hardcore with like how bad Zoro was beat up. So we have to take that in, into value because it's like, all right, through that almost defeat, he was able to rise up and, and find some sort of new... A realization some sort of calm within his peace to defeat his new villain or, or arch nemesis but what happens when he fights the next villain is it going to be the same thing you know how much more cuts wounds damages do the characters go through and then they just going to feel so unstoppable you know like it's, it's a little bit bizarre too to, to look at that perspective because how nami was hurt and injured Versus how Zora was hurt and injured, you know, um... I'm only just gonna take what happened on this season and see how it happens in the next season of what type of villains they're going to fight and, you know, like, I'm gonna put them together and then it's just, hopefully the show doesn't get too abstract in that because God damn, Nami got stabbed through the ankle and she got stabbed through the chest and then Asoro got stabbed quite a lot and he lost a lot of blood, but you know, yay, they saved the day. They're okay. It's just a flesh wound. They'll walk it off. Uh, also, talking about walking it off, uh, what does that mean for the future of the show? Because, you know, they, they're they going through a lot of damage. You know, a human being doesn't just heal you know like in a day or two uh, after going through an event like that so i wonder how uh how long will the show uh present that our characters are hurt and injured unless they do some sort of like macguffin kind of thing or like oh here's this fruit that will make you feel better in a day or whatever or uh hey let's fast forward uh three months later i, I don't know but yeah uh I appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for uh, commenting in the last video. Uh, I can believe a thousand episodes of One Piece have aired. And here I thought I was close. Uh, I guess I'm not. <laughs> I mean, maybe I am, right? If, if I do like three episodes a video or so, uh, I'll catch up in no time. But then again, I like to take breaks from this show because 
the show is extremely overwhelming. All right, uh, I don't know how I don't know how our characters are gonna defeat Mr. Crocodile. Uh, he's Mr. Sandy Boy, um, so I I would dare assume that the only way they could stop him is if there's like if, if it's like raining, you know, and then you can actually hit him finally. You won't be able to like face uh, with the sand. Um, but what the hell is gonna happen now? You know. Uh, there's only six episodes left for this particular arc, and now with Karu, what is his name? Wait, what was his name? Karu, Koza. What the fuck? Way off. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> he just got freaking slaughtered uh, when the armies were trying to um, surrender, and now they're trying to get the rebellions and uh, the whatever. They're trying to keep the fight going. How is this going to cause these people to not fight one another? Literally, Vivi is on the stairs. She saw it happen. She can literally say, hey, dudes, I'm, I'm royalty. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but please, everyone, stop trying to hurt each other. You know, so I don't know. I don't know. So, all right, that about does it for my video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, leave me any comments. Uh, any feedback in the comment section and God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye